I think I've finally figured out why my emotions have been all over the place lately. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. It's because I'm finishing my mom's book and the last three, well the last two chapters deal with her sickness and eventually when she passed and I'm proofreading and I'm reading that stuff over and over again and it feels like I'm reliving it over and over again. It's sending me nuts guys. I. I think I'll be done at the end of this week though. I just have to like pull the band-aid off and be done. So yesterday was the day of the eclipse and it was very exciting even though we didn't see anything here from Fontana. I didn't have the glasses so I wasn't about to go outside and damage my eyes. I just enjoyed looking at the news and seeing all the total eclipses that was happening in different states, how it just went from daylight to night. Ooh, that was so exciting and I saw two really amazing comments about the eclipse one of them is from my friend richard on facebook and he said i'm checking myself in as safe from the rapture <laughs> richard that is so funny then another one i saw was in somebody else's chat just now and the person said because there was a troll in the person's chat so somebody else in the chat said why um didn't the rapture just take them <laughs> and leave us behind with the good people. <laughs> that was funny, because the rapture is supposed to take the good people, right? And leave the wicked behind. Oh my God, that was so funny. So, what I'm doing right now, guys. Well, yesterday for the eclipse, we went to the post office to mail away some of my powder bun dry mix. Thank you guys for picking up the powder bun dry mix. We still have no vehicle because Joe is waiting for parts to come from Amazon today so that he can finish fixing the Tahoe. You know because we're waiting on the parts, it's not gonna come till after 10, right? At night. But if we weren't waiting on it, it would come at four in the morning when you're still sleeping. So we're borrowing Jada's SUV to go to the post office to mail away some packages, and then we're gonna come back home and wait on this eclipse. How about a couple of them boxes in here, Joe? Auntie, Auntie. Are you dry Lexus? You don't know how to reverse. Yep. Auntie. <coughs> Auntie. Why you dry Lexus if you don't know how to reverse? <laughs> That's a man to put your hand. I don't see why I use that too much. Joe said uh -uh, technology is not for him. No, it's, it's okay. I'm looking at it, but I don't depend. Alright, so let's show where this man parked. I don't depend just on that. This poor lady had to squeeze to get out. I want you guys to see how beautiful the sky is right now because when that partial eclipse happens for us over here in Southern California, I feel like it's gonna get dark, like maybe overcast. And no, I'm not gonna aim my camera to try to take a picture or a video because I don't have the proper uh, lens cover. What do they call it? Filter or something? So um, we borrowed Jada's car, came back, the part that Joe needed came early in the day. He went and he put it on because it's like two parts he needed, one for the hot and one for the cold, right? For the for the HVAC, for the, um, the Tahoe. And then he realized that he needed an adapter. So later in the evening, we walked to the parts store and on the way to... Joe, what's the name of the parts store that we like to go to? Is it Truck Auto or AutoZone? AutoZone. AutoZone. The names are so familiar, but I think one doesn't exist anymore. So we're going to AutoZone, but before we hit AutoZone, we hit Napa first. I don't think Joe likes to go to Napa because they're really expensive. So we went to Napa. The guy was really cool. He found the part Joe needed. It was like $13.99 versus $9.99 from Amazon. So we bought it, and then we continued down to AutoZone to see if they had another one because we needed two. There are two hoses, right? And of course they didn't have it. The guy there was really cool though. He's like, man, I hate when these brands give stuff to Napa and don't give it to us. You know, Napa got that first, yada, yada. I didn't know that the competition was like that. That, you know, the, the companies will let Napa get some stuff versus AutoZone versus, I forget the other, I forget the other um, part store that's in town. Is it Morris? Joe? Mm. The other one that's on Arrow. Morris? The, uh, the other auto place. I think it's Morris. So anywho, on the way back, Joe had to stop at the 7-Eleven to buy his lottery ticket because it was 1.3 billion. Somebody else in some other state won. We don't care no more. 
So as we approached the front of the 7-Eleven, there was this homeless lady there and she begged for money. We didn't have none. Joe only had the $2 to buy his mega or whatever he was buying. And I just, every time I passed people in the street, they could look, they could be dressed like a nun. They could look like an innocent baby. I don't care. I walk past you. I do this, like I look through my armpit or like this to see if you're coming to like take out my kidneys or something. I'm really, really nervous when walking in the street. Even when I'm riding the bike on the trail and I pass people, I'm always looking back to see if they're coming at us to hurt us, right? So, um, this lady just made a swift move towards Joe like she was going to hit him in the back. She didn't, I didn't think she had a weapon. I'm like, Joe, and Joe turned around, Joe was going to light this lady up. You know, he was going to get arrested, right? Because he's the big black burly man and she's the little white lady who's homeless or whatever, but she came at us. So when we were in the store, I started to film. I'm like, she going to get beat with this camera in the head, okay? So then we continue to walk home. And... This homeless lady, is that her over there? Yeah. Let me show. The one with the cart. She asked for some money. We told her we didn't have none. And Joe managed to pop the little retainer out of the adapter and put it on the hose so that works. So we're waiting for another adapter to come from Amazon because like I said, AutoZone didn't have it. Is it AutoZone again? Yeah, AutoZone didn't have it. And hopefully Joe can pop that uh, um, retainer out of it to put it on the hose and then the truck should be up and running all right so what I'm doing right here is bake these for lunch so let me tell you how I made those I took three stale pieces of those rolls that I did for one of my live events and I just went ahead and cut out the flesh from the top I made a mixture of melted butter with garlic powder and basil. You can put whatever you like in your melted butter. You can also use some vegetable oil or some olive oil. I brushed it on the bread to make it not be so dry. Even if the bread was fresh, I was still going to do that, okay? Then I got some meatballs that I had in the um, freezer. When I do this again, I'm going to make my meatballs from scratch. So I had some Costco meatballs. They were there forever. I don't even know if they're good, I'll be honest. And then I popped them into the space. I put some... Um, spaghetti sauce and some mozzarella cheese and they're baking okay so let me tell you what i did hold on it's supposed to be done guys i'll get it out right now that's just my timer i did it for 15 minutes so i i i cleaned the freezer from the back fridge because it was looking kind of crazy and i found a whole bunch of stuff in there that i don't know what they are i don't like to freeze things like breads and cakes and puddings because i never go back and eat it why do i freeze it let me grab one of the packages and see if it thawed out enough. So the freezer didn't take long to clean. Oh, okay. I might refreeze this. It hasn't really thawed completely yet. It's a piece of that German chocolate cake. And I was saving it for choice for when he came to visit. Yeah, I'm going to rewrap this and refreeze this and name it what it is. That still looks good. Let me get the other package. Bread pudding, don't you know? Yeah, this has freezer burn though. I think I'm going to toss this. But bread pudding, guys. So this front fridge was already clean. I don't like to clean the fridge or the freezer in the winter. Why? Because I'm cold. All right. And then the deep freezer, well, that's empty. So I'm going to clean that out real well. You know, well, almost empty. We're going to clean that out real well when that's totally empty or sometime today. So this is what we were talking about for bun dry mix. I have a brand new batch made up for you guys. So you never get them stale, but it has a long expiration date. Okay. It expires like next year, September. So thank you so much for picking that up. We did do a live event recently where I said I was going to bake the powder buns and, you know, sell those already made for a special occasion, but I've decided not to do it. Why? Because I've decided that it's not what I want to do. I don't want to bake for a living. I want to cook for a living. I just want to make videos. You guys understand, right? So let me get this thing out. Meanwhile, what did you guys do for the rapture yesterday? <laughs> the rapture. It looks pretty good. 
I think I'll make these again, but I'll make my own meatballs because I don't want to eat the Costco meatballs because I don't know if it has MSG. I don't want to chance it. But they look good. They look good. I don't know if this will make a good thumbnail, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I like that the bread is toasty too. So I'm making more of that bread. See? Making more of the dinner rolls because they were so good and they came in handy for like breakfast with egg and sausage and you know, like to make a sandwich and they're coming handy for lunch but I don't want them to be this tall these were a little bit too tall I think my pan was too small when I put them in there I want them more flat you know so yeah it's been a beautiful couple of days to start this week today is April the what 9th April the 9th 2024 and yesterday was pretty exciting and I know why my emotions are all over the place because I have to finish my mom's book and I'm tired of reliving her last days. This is the Beth Angie Show. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. It's not good. Not good? It's not good. I don't think the meatballs are good and the sauce. Look at the bottle. Open the bottle. Over to your left. Open the bottle and look inside. You guys, it has penicillin in it. <laughs> yes, that is how bad things are. We can't even afford real ingredients to continue the show. 